Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 4th through the 10th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with all of you because there's no way I could possibly read everybody and that's just the way it is. Not God. This is a perhaps. Free will and belief and faith comes into play. I had pre-shuffled these before I hit record. And I will zoom this in a little bit better once I get them laid out. It looks like a pretty good week, really, it does. <laughs> There's a lot of forward movement, okay? There's a lot of forward movement. There's a, um, some new phases on the horizon with the World card and the Wheel of Fortune. And that's really, really good. It looks like you are completing something major and about to start something new. So something, there's a big completion right here with these two cards. And it leads to feeling very satisfied. You're going to be very satisfied this week with all that you've accomplished. Um, I think there's some resisting, though. There's a resistance to the truth about something. So there is a truth that needs to come out about something. And there's resistance right here. Okay? And there's resistance to, it, to love. This is a missed opportunity in love. Somebody's either not accepting it, or they're not seeing it, or they don't want to have anything to do with it. Something like that. And this is leaving, leaving something you are emotionally connected to behind. Just leaving, the walking away from something that you are emotionally attached to, or were attached to. Just leaving it behind. Okay? So, this is about other choices. And this is the truth of a situation. So, but this is resisting the truth. But, but deep, you know, you're prepared, you've been prepared for this, whatever it is. So there's some truth that is going to come out that you have been preparing yourself for. That has to do with love not being received or accepted or seen. But it does start a new cycle. So it does involve a new phase of your life in the future. I'm not sure what it is. It's not offering love. Maybe it's not offering love to somebody from the past. Because, you know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. But here, this hermit card down here, this is about going within. Taking some time out to refocus on your life and to refocus on your future. So this week, maybe... Maybe that's what it is. You're, you're thinking about the past and how love wasn't accepted or some kind of missed opportunity in love and you're coming to grips with it that you've missed the opportunity. I mean, that's what this week could be about. Maybe there was some resistance to it, but now the opportunity is gone. But it starts a brand new phase for you. A brand new, in a good phase. This is good fortune on the way. Okay, this is moving in the right direction. Forward movement where there's victory ahead. And things happen fast. I mean, you could go to a celebration of some sort. There's like a rebirth. So you go from some kind of missed opportunity in love to starting over, you know, and starting something brand new and it's exciting after, not after a loss, okay, realizing there's another opportunity. 
So it's like a switch. It starts out with a missed opportunity, realizing it, coming to grips with it, that, you know, it's over, it's done, it's whatever. And then you have this new phase. That's over. Because here's the tens. They're both the ends. This is the end of the tarot deck, and this is a ten. They're both the end. It's the end of that situation. <laughs> and after that, it's positive. There are other choices, and you put yourself in the driver's seat. You move forward, and you go quickly. Okay? And then you might even have a choice between two people or three. <laughs> Let's get some more cards. This is a love reading for Capricorn. There's definitely, you know, you could, j you could be in a relationship right now that you are thinking about leaving, but you're resisting it, okay? That could be the case. And you decide to go within and contemplate that you this new phase that you want to start. So that could be the case. If you're already single, I think it's a new start. I think that the past is the past and you realize it and it's time to move forward and spin the wheel and start a new long-term phase in your life because this is starting something long term and then this one is spinning the wheel they're both wonderful new starts big deals okay there's a, a fantastic new start right ahead of you where you're in the lead and it's exciting you could feel even you know you're gonna feel very satisfied with the decision that you make. Change is on the horizon. And there you are. There you are, Capricorn. And this is happiness in the future. <laughs> with your new phase. Okay, there's happiness. After you take the time to refocus, reevaluate, take a little bit of time to rejuvenate yourself and really come to grips that this is completely over. It's time to move on. All right. It's time to build a new foundation. It's a time for change. This is you. This is letting go of any burdens. Okay, this is burdens. Another 10 of completion. Another one. <laughs> major completions okay when you get a 10 it means that you are starting something new you're letting go of whatever's been this person that has been holding you back so and it could be just a feeling for a person an emotion for a, a person an attachment that you just couldn't let go of but you realize now that it's time to let go of it and then you might feel like celebrating you might have like several choices as soon as you let go it's like boom Damn, there's other fish in the sea. This, this, I think, mostly apl applies to singles. I do. I mean, if you're in a relationship, you could be considered leaving it because you're not happy. Or you could be in a relationship and thinking about somebody else from the past, you know, that you need to let go of. Emotionally. There's some inner conflicts, Okay. There's some inner conflicts that you're having and you just, you don't, you just don't know which way to go. But you, you can't do both ways, that that's the thing. You either, you gotta have it one way, you gotta make a choice. Do you wanna stay stuck in the past or do you wanna move forward? I think this is the week where you need to make a decision. What is it gonna be? You have major completion, so you might actually make the decision to move forward this week with these tens, all these tens. Right next to you. This is you. This represents you, Capricorn. This card. And two, I mean, there's tens all around it. 
completions. I think you're completing a major cycle in your life to begin something new. And it can lead to a lot of happiness. These, the romance angel cards are coming right up. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That's what's been going on. Perhaps you've been stuck in a situation because you, you just knew it wasn't the right time to find the right one. Perhaps. Express your love. Go ahead and, and make the romantic gesture. That, that means you can't be stuck in the past. You, can't, you have to be available to make the romantic gesture. M mentally. Let go of control issues. That's a good one, isn't it? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Let it happen. When you have all these choices and let just whatever one feels the most natural and just let it happen. Don't resist it. Like there's, there's, there's resistance right here. Don't resist it anymore. Don't resist the change. This is the change that's needed. Let it happen. Go with the flow. Getting to know each other with this new person as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens separation this is who you gotta let go of <laughs> it's the truth you have to let go of somebody that you are mentally emotionally connected to That's, there's no doubt about it no doubt about it and when you do that, you can't control the situation anymore. When you've really let it go, it's over. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. No doubt. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Perhaps you think that you don't have enough to offer. Or you need, or if you do separate, that causes a big problem financially. Or you did separate and now you're financially unstable. Or whatever the case may be. There's so many different scenarios. Perception. That's what that is. All of it. Everything I just said is perception. The whole reading is perception. So I think this week is must be about perception for you because I haven't said, well, I guess I did. I have said that to somebody else too, but not quite so much. Anyhow, that's what I have for you, Capricorn, for a love reading. I will talk to you next week.